Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I thought I would just do a video right now on niche fragrances and just talk about my general thoughts about niche um, from my personal perspective. Um, first of all, as far as my collection goes, I think I only actually have one bottle of niche, and um, that would be my bottle of Creed Himalaya. This was something I actually bought years back before I even knew anything about uh, the dangers of buying um, fake fragrances on eBay and stuff like that. You know, four ounce Creed for like um, 60 bucks. Um, you know, if I were to do that now, I would probably just say no way because it would be too risky. Um, and even, you know, just based on the smaller fragrance, it's okay, but if I had to do it again, I, I would have not, you know, bought that bottle because I just don't wear it. Um, but I have tried many of the other niche fragrances, not only from Creed, but Bond Number no. 9. I've tried like uh, Green Irish Tweed, Valencia Imperial um, from Creed and Bond Number no. 9, Riverside Drive, uh, Herod's for Men, Great Gems, and then some of the other um, niche fragrances, uh, Din Dan, Kier Ottoman, and I'm sure there's some other ones maybe I forgot to mention. But uh, anyway, for the most part, you know, it's just another fragrance as far as I'm concerned. Um, sometimes I notice that uh, niche fragrances do seem to last longer uh, than the designer fragrances. Um, sometimes they smell more natural than the uh, designer fragrances. Uh, but the question is, you know, does the price you know, justify the means? Uh, you know, based on you know my my philosophy of fragrance is probably not. I mean, I, I rotate very heavily. I mean, I have so many samples and minis and bottles. I mean, I can't really just dwell on one fragrance for any specific length of time. If I were to spend two hundred dollars on a in a bottle of Creed and then only wear it twice a year, what would be the point? And then I'd be concerned about it going bad anyway, and then maybe having a you know a wasted bottle of fragrance anyway. So. Um, if I do find a uh, a niche fragrance that I like, I would certainly probably just load up on samples and, and just do a decant. You know, maybe get like a five or six milliliter decant spray and just load up on that one up with some samples. Um, I think that's the way to go with niche. If you find something you really like, like for me, um, the one niche fragrance that really caught my attention this year is Bond Number no. Nine's Riverside Drive. And uh, I think you can get a bottle for about $150, um, which really isn't too bad when you, when you compare it to some of these other niche fragrances that are running, you know, $200, $300. But still, you know, I couldn't justify it. Um, but uh, what I did do, I got a couple of these, uh, I guess they're called Bon Bon samples. And they have like maybe one and a half um, milliliters. You know, so that's three milliliters, and that was like 10 bucks. So, you know, that'll... You know, that'll fulfill my uh, itch for any kind of a niche fragrance for now. So, yeah. I, and there's plenty of great designer scents out there that I haven't even sampled yet. So, you know, why why dwell too heavy on the niche market? Um, I guess one of the things that kind of kind of gets to me is that I noticed that a lot of the YouTube reviewers are really hitting the niche market hard with their reviews. You know, in, they always say things like, well, I would say definitely sample this one. And then you go on eBay or wherever, and it's like $10, $20 just to sample it. So it's like, you know, that's like half a bottle right there in cost just to sample something that you might not even like. So sometimes I think you're just better off just, you know, keeping your head out of the niche game altogether because of, you know, the just the high cost of sampling and then you find if you do like it then you have to pay that high cost for the bottle so yeah I think for me you know I mean Green Irish Tweed is nice too so yeah I do have you know some samples of Green Irish Tweed and actually I wore that to work you know once or twice and no one really seemed to you know make a big stink about it you know if you read the base note forums they always say oh I get so many compliments with Green Irish Tweed but you know didn't really happen with me so uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on niche uh, I'm gonna keep this one under five minutes so uh, thanks for watching guys and have a nice day